Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I am gonna be doing a banana oatmeal bread that is Weight Watcher friendly. I've got these very overripe bananas here that I wanna use up, and so I figured what better way than to do a banana bread with them. Now, I have a traditional banana bread recipe that is my mother's that I absolutely love, but I'm trying to stay on track here with Weight Watchers, so I'm gonna make this version, and it is a little bit healthier, and a whole lot less points, but it's still very good. So what you're gonna need to make this is one and a quarter cups all-purpose flour. You're gonna need a cup of old-fashioned oats, a half cup of brown sugar. In here I have a half teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon baking powder, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then here is three teaspoons of oil, and that is two egg whites and one whole egg that I've lightly beaten. I've got a little imitation vanilla flavor there, and then of course, my bananas. I've got three of them. And that is all you're gonna need to make this. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your oven preheating to 350, and then you're gonna take all your dry ingredients, your flour, oats, and then all the baking soda, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon. And you're gonna just mix these together real well. Okay, now that I've got that all mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and just set that aside. And then I'm gonna take my mixer here, and I'm gonna just dump basically the remaining ingredients in here. So let's start with my sugar. my eggs, oil, and a little bit of this vanilla, probably a teaspoon and a half or two, and then my bananas. Now I just take these and throw these in the mixer. You can ma mash them separately if you want to, um, but I don't ever see the point of that. I know a lot of recipes will say to mash them separately and then add them in, but I always just mash them up with everything else and it works out really well. And also if you don't have a stand mixer or any type of a mixer, you can do this by hand. And at that point you probably would want to mash your bananas first and then add them to this. But we're going to just throw it all in there and then we're going to get this mixed up. All right, I've got that nice and mixed. So now I'm gonna take my dry ingredients here and I'm, I'm gonna pour those in. And I'm gonna mix this just until this is all incorporated together. You don't wanna over mix this. So mix just until basically everything is moistened in here. Okay, that is nice and mixed up. And this smells so good, just like this. And banana bread is just one of those things for me that is definitely a comfort food. And so whenever I make it, it definitely uh, kind of takes me back to childhood. And I just really love it. I love the smell of it. I love the way it makes your house smell when you're baking it. It is just great stuff. Like I said, I really enjoy my mom's recipe for banana bread. That's probably my all time favorite, but this is a definite good substitute when you can't have that full fat banana bread. So I've got a um, silicone bread pan here, which I don't use very often, but I'm gonna use it today. And I sprayed it with a little cooking spray and now I'm gonna take my batter here and I'm gonna pour it in this. But I'm gonna need something to do that with. I'm gonna just take this spatula here and just pour all this batter out into the pan. And that smells good. I have been doing so much baking during this quarantine, which has not been the best for my diet, but I'm trying to switch things back to the more healthy side and this is just one of those ways. You can still bake when you're on Weight Watchers. Just gotta do it a little bit differently. 
Got that in there. So now I'm going to put this in my preheated oven. I'm gonna bake it for about 40 minutes, uh, but I'm gonna be checking on it. You basically wanna bake it until it's kind of just firm to the top, and if you insert a toothpick, it's gonna come out clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven, and I will be back when it is done. Okay, I let this cook for 45 minutes. It is done, and so now, I'm gonna just let it sit for probably about five more minutes and then I'm gonna pop it out of this pan and let it continue to cool a little bit. I've let this cool for probably about 15 minutes, which is pretty good for us because usually stuff doesn't cool that long. But That's because I wasn't here. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, he wasn't here yet. He's here with his coffee, your Stokes coffee there. Um, so I'm gonna cut into this and let him try it. Now, before I forget, this is five points when you cut this into 10 pieces. And that's on all three colors. Yeah, not super big pieces, but you know. Yeah. No, I just ate jalapeno, so you're gonna have to give me a Oh. <laughs> Bella's circling. She wants her bite. Yeah, it's really good. Um, you know, it's got that really nice, sweet, kind of rich banana bread flavor. Mm -hmm. um, How do you like the oatmeal in there? I'm a big fan of oatmeal, so I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is more, a little more savory. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not, it's not classic banana bread. Yeah, it's more savory than your traditional banana bread. I'm yeah. sure that's due to the oats. Yeah. But this is right up my alley. I mean, I like that. I like the texture of it. I like the taste of it. You know, it's it's a denser bread, bread as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, it's really good. Good way to use up bananas though, I think. Yes. All right. That was my oatmeal banana bread. Good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.